Master 1 is the highest rung on Master Duel's competitive ladder, and getting there is not easy. Only the strongest, most vicious decks have what it takes to seize victory! But what if you don't play the strongest decks? What if you just play a goofy little bobblehead and is scared pupper baloney? Could you, could you still make it to the top then? I'm Hardleg Joe, if in you didn't know, and that's what I aim to find out. You see, each month my patrons pick a different deck and I do my best to push it up the Master Duel ladder. This month they've chosen Scareclaw, an aggressive link-based archetype that was released on Master Duel more than a year ago. It centers around this beastly looking fellow who forces all other monsters to bow down before him by shifting them to defense position. It's never been the best deck by any means, but it's not to be underestimated either. And it just recently received two new support cards that might push it to the top tiers of play. Will a searchable trap and a cash tier hybrid be strong enough for this deck to claw its way to the top? I mean, you, you'll have to watch to find out. And welcome back to the ladder climb. As the intro said, we are playing Scare Claws, Yu-Gi-Oh's scariest deck. You can't argue otherwise. It's in the name. Don't tell me it's Ghost Tricks. Ghost Tricks are spoopy. They are not scary. We're playing a scary deck with claws. Scare Claws. You'll, you'll see. It'll be fun. And as always, we're starting in Diamond 5 to feel alive. You know, that's just where we go. And also, as always, I've spent some time beforehand looking at different Scare Claw builds, trying to figure out what we're going to do, and I have created a beta version of the deck. Now, most builds of Scare Claw focus on going blind second, because Scare Claws have a lot of OTK ability. They're really easy to play blind second. But I feel like if I did that, then the deck wouldn't change the entire time. We would just hammer home on that. And it would be kind of boring, especially if you already know Scare Claws. So instead, I've decided to start by doing something a little different. We are playing a go first variant of Scare Claws. We're gonna try to do a little combo that's going to end us on Scare Claw Twin Saw, plus Baguska at home, plus the most powerful boss monster in the game currently. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try to do. And as you can see, we've already got a lot of stuff but Scareclaw is notoriously expensive. You've got to play Reichhart, which is a UR, the Field Spell, Reichphobia, which is a UR. They've got two extra deck monsters, which are also URs. So this is set up to be the most expensive deck we've had to play in a while. But we've got plenty of gems. We should still be able to do it. And fortunately for us, these are now in their own secret pack. Beastly Claws of Terror. So it shouldn't be too hard. We're going to be jumping into that, opening up a whole bunch, and seeing what we can pull out. Alright, so let's go ahead, Scareclaw Tryhard. We'll craft this, and we'll get one free pull. One free pull! Whoa, we don't get one free pull. I guess we must open this. I guess you get one free pull, like, at the start of this. I didn't know that counted. Whenever they release a new secret pack, you get, like, one free pull. And yeah, this has pretty much everything, including Visa Starfrost. We are playing one copy of it. Oh yeah, yeah, this has the Book of Lunar Eclipse. That's why we opened this up. So we need one more of these. We need one more Light Heart, because we had one previously. We need a Visa Starfrost, three Reich Hearts, and two Reich Phobia. And then the only other you are here is Gotham's Emergency Call. And I can let you know right now... I'm not playing X-Sabers, not unless they give them some crazy new support. So we're going into a secret pack for the first time in a while. Go ahead and place your bets. How many gems do you think it will take? Put it down there and... Oh, I guess I should change the thing at the top. We kept track of heads and tails last time. I'm not sure that's necessary, especially this time. So I'm going to change it to gems. We'll keep track of the gems again this time. All right. First pack, opening it up. 1,000 gems going up top there. On the one hand, this is pretty cracked as far as a set goes, right? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten SRs and two URs. The problem is, none of them were the ones that we wanted. We've got a lot of rares. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a 11. Shit. Got a lot of SRs, a couple URs, which is higher than normal, just none of the stuff we wanted. But that's fine. We got them out of the way. Let's open up another pack, see what we can do. All right, we got them on the wings. We got the Pendulum Zone. This one's not from the pack. Starlight Road, I guess not bad. And Tryheart? 
try hard. Hey, it's that easy. All you gotta do is ask for the second time. I mean, if you keep asking, statistically, it, it'll happen eventually. But there's the one we needed. We already crafted one. So now we just need the little, we need the little bobblehead and right card and the, the field spell. All right, here's a UR. Will we get our Funko Pop? Wait, I didn't want to do that. Why did they go through all of them? I wasn't ready. Well, it's another try heart. And we already had two, so that's like 15 dust or something? Yeah, we could break down the shiny one. We're good. Ooh, all in the wrong side of the pack. Oh, wait, no, we got something here. It's just a... Um, oh. Well, we got a Royal Scareclaw Straddle. I don't know. I don't like to keep the Royals, but chat really likes me to keep the Royals. It's not as though I need, like, SR points or anything. Yeah, not the greatest. Got more stuff we could break down. Still not getting the URs that we want. Either way, definitely gonna be a lot. Will it be 10k? We're going into the 5,000 packs. Oh, hey, there's a UR on the right side. Bobblehead while I'm eating chocolate? Hey, Visa, Starfrost here. I hope you enjoyed that joke because I'm gonna make it every time I get this card. I am easily amused, that's just what I'm rolling with, but at least we got the one Visa we needed. So that's good, we just need another Bobblehead and all the Reichhardts. Bobblehead? Bobblehead! Hey, there we go. First of the, what is it, the seventh pack we're opening? We finally got one. All right, now all we need is Reichhardt and the, the planet. And honestly, we might be able to, to, to craft those with what we have. Wrong side. Oh, hey. I mean, I wanted Reichhardt, not Reisehardt, but I guess I'll take it. They got more Cash Tira stuff. Royal Dark Souls! We're royal, baby! This is the Dark Souls of Royal Monsters! And we got a Crossroads Dragon, too. Sure, why not? You know, we're, we're fine. We're fine! We're going. We're good. Alright, come on. Give me- show me one Reichardt, please! It's another bobblehead. I mean, it's kind of a version of Reichardt. All right, people point out we're also playing one Theosis. We're also playing one Wraith Soth. So before we get to 10,000, let's go ahead and just spend 2,000 of our things playing the new pack. See what we can get out of here. <sighs> the smell of fresh packs in the morning. Toy Norma, Gishki Vision. Royal Gishki Vision! This is the third royal we've got in like 8,000 packs. All right, 10th pack, we've got our last UR. Will it be the Theosis? No, it's the Prediction Princess. Nothing particularly great. Let's go ahead and try. This will be our 10,000th gem spent. All right, here's a UR. Can we get one of the good Cash Tira cards? I believe it in my soul. One of these will be Wraith Soth, the other will be the planet. The, no, we already got the one will be the Wraith Soth, one will be Theosis. Let's go. Come on, show it to me. There's the third thrust. Okay, and this one? Hey, I was half right. We got one, we got one Wraith Soth, and we got a third triple tactics thrust, so you know, we're prepared. Plus another scarecrow straddle. You know, we needed the fifth one of these. What is this? Ah, I see, it's evenly matched at home. I'm not sure why you'd want to play that, but it certainly exists. All right, we got one more. We'll go ahead, it's the, the last one. Show me the Theosis! No, it's the second Arise Heart. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uncraft some stuff and see where we look. Maybe we can just craft everything we need. Maybe we'll need to open more of the Scareclaw things. We'll find out. All right, so after dusting some stuff and seeing what we have, uh, we still got quite a few URs, like five of them that we need to get. And while we do have the dust for it, I'd rather save my dust for things that aren't in secret packs. We've got 3,000 more gems. Might as well use them. So let's spend the rest of these, see what we can get, and then we'll craft whatever's left. Hey, there's the right card. We got at least one. All right, not bad. I, you know, we, we decided to go back into the pack and we were immediately rewarded. We got one of the right cards. Let's go ahead, jump back in. 12,000 gems. 
and not a single you are. <laughs> All right, is this gonna be our first no you are, guaranteed you are in the next pack? No you are's, okay. I was like, we're rewarded, and then it turns out we're anti-rewarded. But this is our last pack. We're guaranteed a you are. Maybe we'll get several you are's, and this will fill in the rest, and we'll be perfectly fine. All right, you are in the proper side of the pack. Show me the gosh darn planet. I need one. Not another invoker. At least it's another shiny one, but gosh darn. Where's my planet? <laughs> all right, last pack of the last set. We've spent all our gems. I'm not spending money on this. We've got one more you are waiting for us. Can we get a single copy of the planet? No, it's another tryhard. The planet is like ultra rare. It's like short printed in this set or something. I don't know. And the X Sabers are like super mega ultra printed. That and Wayne. We've got like eight fucking Waynes. We already broke down eight Waynes and we still got more. Uh, all right, let's dust everything and just get it done. Batch generate cards not owned. It's gonna cost half of our points. My Ausa is royal. I've crafted a royal Ausa. So, you know, there's four royals in one opening. Oh, hey, I got a bunch of one free pulls. One free pull. 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 Of course it's another Wayne! I thought I had escaped the Waynes, and here they are, showing up in the fucking Charmer pack! I've got enough of you already! <laughs> God damn it! You know, the point is, the deck is crafted, we're here, we're ready to go. So from here, I'm just going to test it against some patrons, gonna play some duels, I might make a few changes, and then we'll be back on the next stream and I'll give a, uh, a deck profile there, just explaining everything in here. If you if you don't already know what scare claws do, if you wanna just skip ahead to the duels, there's time codes below, you can use those. I spend a lot of time on them. And I also spend a lot of time on this channel in general. So I'll take this moment to just be like, hey, if you like the videos, if you like watching these, and you'd like to support what I do, um, you can consider joining the Hardleg Patreon, which is linked down in the description. Patreon.com slash Hardleg Gaming. I have a Discord that's for patrons only. One dollar gets you on there. And of course it helps me out as well. So consider checking that out. Otherwise, let's be right back in the snap of a snap. And here we are, dawn of the first stream, the first day of climbing. And normally at this point, I would just go ahead and show you the deck, explain how it works. But as per usual with the ladder climb, this isn't just about documenting each deck. It's also kind of an interesting way to document month by month how Master Duel evolves. And we just got an update, and it's a very interesting one. You'll notice up here by my icon, we now have a new option. There's, there's, a, there's one down there you can kind of see. It's the Master Duel Proficiency Test. They have the Academic Exam and the Practical Exam, where you have a little Proficiency Test icon that follows by your profile, and you can unlock some other stuff. And people in chat have been asking me to do this, to include it on stream. So I'm gonna go through some of these. I'm not sure if I'll go through all of them or how much of I'll include, but I wanted to at least mention it. We might show a couple, and if you're not interested in this at all, there's time code. You could skip ahead. But yeah, let's go ahead and test this out. We gotta start with the academic exam. Answer two of three questions correctly to pass. Begin. What type of card is this, zombie? Yeah, that's Ash Blossom. Question number two, what does Rescue Rabbit have around its neck? It's a walkie-talkie, which I guess is a transceiver, which I know because I made a Yugi poop of that, if you want to put that up there, editor, where I gave him a whole bunch of little microphones. Question number three, what is the name of this card? Blue Eyes White Dragon. Easy peasy. Can you identify the most popular cards and remember things about them? I mean, my mate liked that, so there's that. This this music really has, like, Wii vibes to it. Okay, practical exam. That was easy. Let's go. Pete in a duel. Oh. 
All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna go over the deck and go into the duels then. And then we'll come back to this maybe tomorrow, maybe later. You have to play ranked to do the practical exam. All right, so now that that's done, let's go ahead and go over the deck for those of you who don't know Scare Claws. Now, I will go ahead and mention that I did make a Let's Build, one of my other series about Scare Claw. So if you want a card by card knowing how everything works, uh, I already have a video about that. You could check it up, just type in Hard Leg Scare Claw, it should come up. Maybe I'll remember to put it in the description. So I'm not gonna go over everything. Mostly because this deck is very simple. Basically, every Scareclaw main deck monster has the same effect, which is you can special summon this from your hand to a main monster zone that is adjacent to a Scareclaw or in its column. So if you have a Scareclaw on the field, you could summon another Scareclaw next to it and then another one next to that. You can summon each of them once per turn that way. If you have one in the extra monster zone, you can put one behind it. So it's very easy to swarm. They have a Link 1, Scareclaw Lightheart, who's like a little bobblehead Funko Pop version of the main monster. And you can make this with any Scareclaw, and it's the Link that searches the field spell, which searches any Scareclaw monster. So all you need to do is get one monster, and then that kind of gets you, you started on a combo to make a whole bunch of stuff. Which is why it's very easy to play this with a whole bunch of tech cards, in our case, we've decided to do a go first version. We can try to win as many coin tosses as possible. If we do, great, we're set up for that. And if not, this deck can still OTK. It OTKs mostly with this big boss monster, Scareclaw Tryheart. Must be Link Summoned, takes three monsters. All monsters on the field change to defense position. And this is unaffected by the activated effects of defense position monsters. And then it also has a searchy thing that you'll see or whatever. But that's the main thing, is this is kind of Baguska at home. And then all of these, these little scare claws, except for, except for Rykart. Rykart's different. But these other ones give effects to the Link monster. Boost its attack, let it do piercing, let it attack multiple times. Which is how you get OTKs. If you've got like a 4300 that can attack three times and does piercing, you, you've pretty much just won. But what we're trying to do is basically set up a Tryheart alongside a Scareclaw Twinsaw. This is Tribute to Scareclaw, target two cards your opponent controls, destroy them. And if I control Visa Starfrost, I can banish the cards instead, which, you know, might happen occasionally. Probably not, although we are playing Visa Starfrost, for reasons you'll see later. And then also, if a Link 3 or higher monster is on the field, banish this from the graveyard for the rest of the turn, Neither player can activate the effects of Link Monsters, which is actually critically important because as I said, your big boss, the only thing it's weak against is Link Monsters. So if you get this, not only are you popping two cards, but you're saying, and also no Link Monsters for the rest of the turn. And all we're gonna do is stall one turn because then usually we can OTK on the, on the crackback. So we're trying to get those two mostly. And then if we get a good hand or if we get some of the cash stuff, we can also make a, a Rise Heart. And I know a lot of people don't like this. I don't like it either, but I would feel remiss if I didn't at least include it. I mean, I already had one. And there is a card that has some synergy here. It's not just a splash. There is actually a monster, Scare Claw Cash Tira, that is part of both archetypes. And it's pretty neat. During the main phase, you could special summon this from your hand by banishing a Cash Tira or Scare Claw from your hand or graveyard. This card can attack while in defense position. If it does, apply its defense for damage. And if a Cash Tira or Scare Claw battles, that opponent's monster's effects are negated until the end of the turn. This thing is really, really cool because Tryheart shifts everything in defense position, but this can attack in defense position for 2600. And if this can't OTK for some reason, being able to add this on as a free special summon essentially pretty much always does it. It also, because it makes it so that this negates everything it attacks, it lets it get over stuff like Abramax that is normally very difficult for Tryheart to deal with. And it's also just a level 7, so you can also use it to make the Cash Tira stuff. And because it's a Cash Tira card, you can search it off of Fenrir, pretty good for going second, pretty decent for going first. And then we're playing two Unicorn, which can search a Cash Tira spell card. And we've got Theosis. If you control a Cash Tira, summon another Cash Tira from the deck. If we have Unicorn, we search Theosis. Theosis gets Fenrir. 
Fenrir searches this, and then we can use all three to make a Rise Heart, as long as we're careful. The big thing to keep in mind here is Theosis says you can only summon Ixies for the rest of the turn. And if you use Tryheart Search Effect, you can only summon Scareclaws for the rest of the turn. So it is possible to like summon Tryheart, then use Theosis, then make a Rise Heart, then use Tryheart's Effect. But you've got to be careful because you can easily lock yourself out of one or the other and just be kind of screwed. But that's what we're trying to do. That's like the optimal end board, right? Is Try Heart plus a Rise Heart plus Twin Saw, which is practically unbeatable for a lot of decks. And then if nothing else, we've got Triple Tactics Thrust we're playing. We've got this Reich Heart is essentially like an engage, like it searches and then draws you a card if you've got a bunch of defense position monsters on the field. And oh boy, will we have defense position monsters on the field. So hopefully between the draws and the thrust and things like Triple Tactics Talent, if nothing else, we could search D Barrier. That's our card of choice. That's our selection. We're just going to go against Pearly and be like, nah, uh, uh no Ixies for you, and then OTK the shit out of them. At least that's the hope. So that should be a good enough explanation. You basically know how the deck works. Everything else is a tech card, or you'll see it in play. Let's go ahead and jump into the battles and see how this fares on the ladder. All right, we're going first on the first duel, which is what we want to do. All right, not the best hand, but I mean, we open with D barrier, which is kind of a, a garnet, but I mean, we're fine. So we're gonna special summon this in defense. We're going to activate the effect. Yeah, and we're gonna go for Theosis. And then we're going to normal summon Rykart, and we will not use the effect for the moment. Instead, we're going to use it to make Lightheart. There's going to be a lighthearted, jolly little dude. You know what I'm saying? So Lightheart is the link that searches the field spell. Field spell is the field spell that searches the thing. We want Arco. So then we're going to special summon Arco to the column. Now that we've got two monsters, we're going to special summon the other Reichhardt. And then this effect, when it's summoned, you can search a spell trap, so we'll get the Twin Saw. And then if you control three defense position monsters, you can also draw a card, which is why we waited on that effect. From here, we're gonna use these three, and we're gonna make Try Heart. Try Honesty, Try Honesty. Big Stabby Man. From here, we're going to Theosis. Yeah, we're gonna Theosis. Now that we've made our link, we can target Unicorn, summon Fenrir. We're gonna use the Fenrir, get ourselves the uh, Cash Tira. We're going to use the Cash Tira, special summon this, banish uh, one of these Rykarts. We don't need both of them. And then we make our other big boss monster. Arise, heart! Womp! And now that we've done that, we can lock ourselves into Scareclaw by doing this. Target a Scareclaw in the graveyard, summon it, and then add a Scareclaw with a different name from our deck to our hand. We're gonna take Astra. Astra gives us multiple attacks. And we're just gonna put it out there. There we go. Then we'll set, we'll set. So everything is in defense. This is unaffected by defense position monsters. This can banish one card on the field face down, non-targeting. It's also a macro cosmos. We've got D barrier and we've got Icarus attack. And we've got more than enough follow up next turn to absolutely devastate our opponent. So, you know, this is probably the best turn one board this deck can make. And even though it includes Cash Tiro, which is one of the best meta decks, it also, you know, it, it works with everything we've got here. Um, okay. Ah, for hire. I see, I see. Um, target one effect monster. Its effects are negated this turn. Okay, not much I can do there. 
Did we banish Floney Maxi? Yeah, that's gonna keep activating even though I cannot activate it. Mandatory effects. Anytime a card is banished, this can equip a banished card to itself. Adds a for hire from deck to hand. Ah, Sprite Carrot, unfortunate. Yeah, that's pretty much everything I have. As long as they've got the carrot on there. I guess I could do D-Barrier and call... Yeah, maybe that would be a good way to bait out Carrot. That would keep them off the thing. Yeah, we'll say no, no fusions. Now they kind of like have to negate this. There we go. And now if they get the field spell, I can um, I can destroy it with Twin Saw. Hoogan protects. I assume they'll use Hoogan as material. Maybe they'll leave it out. I mean, that would be bad. All right, Jet. They just had everything. They had blue, the one Jet, two na three uh, things, and Rex. They're smashing. Shit. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And then that just gets rid of Tryheart, and now I can't activate the thing. Maybe I should have. Yeah, if I just... Yeah, I just use Twin Saw. Tribute off this. Kill Carrot and Rex. And then they don't have a level 2 and they don't have another way to get a monster out. Donner has a... Gra Rex has a graveyard effect. Oopsie doodle. Okay, so they have Fountain, but we know that the last card is just the, the for hire they have. And there we go! We beat the sprite for hire and everything. We had just enough outs and they couldn't quite do it. It was a little touch and go there for a moment. We maybe didn't play necessarily optimally, but we managed to hit everything we wanted and we got the practical exam. All right, so since I passed the proficiency exam, I get five, you know, Arby's gift cards. And we unlock test number two. Ah, okay, so you do a test and then you've got to do the practical exam. Okay, so yeah, we can just go in between some of these and answer some questions, you know, have some fun times. Answer two of three correctly. What's the name of this card, X Head Cannon? Correct, easy. Question number two, called by the grave. Easy peasy. Give up. None of that, skull, summon skull. Just all, all asking you if you can identify popular cards. All right, easy peasy. Level two duelist, I just need to do another duel. Oh, okay, so it's not just dueling. In order to pass the proficiency, I have to normal summon three monsters. So it'll be a couple duels and then we'll be back. Okay, I was wondering, there were people saying like, if you want to do the exams, it takes like an hour. And I was like, how long could it take? These questions seem really easy. It's because you've got to do this dueling stuff too in between. All right, second duel and we're going second. So this will be a chance to see if we can still OTK even with our deck geared towards going first. And I mean, this is this is pretty good. You know, we've got, we've got a Scareclaw. That's Scareclaw combo. Got Fenrir, yeah, go ahead. Fenrir to get Fenrir. Okay, so probably not a dedicated uh, Cash Tira deck. All right. So I can Ash the... Oh, that's the Welcome. So they probably have Big Welcome. One of these two. Always Ash the Big Welcome. It's the biggest of the Welcomes. Okay, Arrival. That's not too bad. It's essentially Monster Reborn. Yeah, that's fine. Big lady. Big welcome. Why? Oh, damn it, I forgot. I always forget she has that effect that's like while she's on the field, 
Your opponent can't activate monster effects in response to normal traps. Oh no. Well, that sucks, but we're still here. Go forth! Activate! And then they get to add a normal trap. They can't activate it this turn though, right? Uh, normal summon acrobat. There we go. The link that searches the field spell, chat! Gosh darn it! Gee, Billy, how come you get two in perms? The search isn't once per turn. So I should be able to put this here, bring this back. Activate. Grab the Reich Phobia. Add cards from deck to hand. Yeah, let's go ahead and get Reich Hearts. Special summon this. This gets me a card. Uh, I think this gives me game, actually. Yeah, let's go for Straddle. And I get to draw a card. Baloney, my good friend! All right, so now I can use all three of these and I can make Try Heart. And we can summon that, Big Stabby. Everyone goes to defense. We're gonna activate this. We're gonna summon back Acro. Bada Bingo. And we can search Astra. And then from here, yeah, we get all three. So we do Piercing. We get attack equal to the number of defense position monsters. And we can attack a number of times equal to the number of scare claws with different names. And this allows me to target a scare claw and it gains attack equal to an opponent's monster's attack. So, you know, I could get really big attack. I don't think I need to. Cause this is already 26. Plus 26. Oh yeah, I do need to use it. Oh, uh, that's fine though. We'll attack here and then we'll use the straddle. Not in the imperm column. I'm going to gain equal to you. 58. Big attack. Lots of numbers. And there you go, an excellent example of how Scarecall can, what do we play through? Two Imperms, a Fenrir Banish, and getting a card in our hand popped. Granted, they destroyed one of the Scareclaws and we had two of them, so it was good, but we still had an Ash and a Fenrir in hand. We didn't even use everything. Just a clear, decisive win. Here we are, we're, th we're three duels in. We're on a win streak, we get to go first again. And if we win this one, we go into Diamond 4 already. We're already ready for the, the rank up. 100% win rate for Scareclaw. Or maybe I should call this Scare Cash. I don't know. Hey, Vsus, Starfrost here. Okay, so we start with Fenrir in defense position. You always want to put in defense so that you have the ability to get defense stuff. And we're going to go for Scare Cash. Going to summon this one. Bobblehead. Get ourselves a field spell. And then we can do the neat thing with Beast of Starfrost. If this is in your hand, or I guess not. But yeah, if this is in your hand, you can destroy one card and then summon it. And then the Lightheart says if you control Starfrost, you can summon it from the graveyard. So it's a great way to just like essentially get it for free because you summon it out and then immediately bring it back. And then you could just, you know, get everything else done. But uh, they realized it was bad and they surrendered. So there we go. Easiest diamond four of our career. All right, so I normal summon three times. That means I get three more Arby's gift cards and I get to move over to number three. 
Oh, now there's five questions. It'll be even longer. Let's go. Question number one. Fuck you, Maxi. You're level two. Question number two. Which of the following has a spell speed of three? Uh, counter traps are spell speed three. Each player has one Dark Magician in their graveyard. Um, 2,000, it gains 300. Oh, uh, 26. I didn't realize they didn't give me that time to read. What type of card is this spellcaster? How many UR craft points are needed to craft a card of UR rarity? 30. Crafted enough URs in my time to know such a thing. Bada bingo, bada bango. Activate two traps and two spells. All right, so we got our first loss, but it's fine because we passed the practical exam, which means we get a spell card. We could take a little break. No time to be salty. Not when there's tests to be taken. Let's go. What do we got? Three out of five. Begin the bongos. Question number one. That's an insect. What is the name of this card? Uh, Goblin of Greed, right? No. Goblin Thief. First one wrong. Glory of the Gladiator Beast in solo mode. Uh, what is said to happen when the fervor of the Colosseum reaches its peak? The Gladiator Beasts are unleashed. I know that's the name of a card. I don't know the solo mode. Which of the following is true about Tribute Summon? You don't have to tribute monsters to Tribute Summon? Okay. Check out a level four on the field, special summon Strudo. What level is Destrudo? It's three because it always equals seven. You can tribute spells, I guess so. Uh, I gotta tribute summon a monster. I might do that. I might do that at some point, you know? It's not impossible in this deck, but not super probable, but there you go. All right, here we go. Second chance ranking up into Diamond 3. Last time it was our first lost, but it was against, it was against Makanko, which we didn't show because Makanko's not the most exciting deck, especially when all they have is just a bunch of Kaijus and stuff. So hopefully this one will go a little better, you know? Ooh, nice. This is full combo, I believe. We could just do everything. And you've already seen it once, so I could just fast forward through this. I got scoliosis. Yeah, let's go back. Ah, it's Max C. Nah. <laughs> nah. I don't I think I've I think I've ashed every Max C we've encountered so far. And that's, that's how you win. Maxi challenge decides games and everyone knows it. Congratulations, Konami. This is what you've done, you know? This is the environment you've created where the Maxi minigame just decides things. I guess, I guess I win, you know, but I kind of wanted to play out an actual duel. All right, high stakes game. Win and I go up to Diamond 2, lose and they go down to Diamond 4. We are going second, but I mean, that hasn't really been a problem so far. We've been doing pretty good going second. See what kind of hand we got here. All oh, the extension, all the scare claws every day. Thank you, Darsh, for the 18 months. We can fake like we've got the, uh, Wait, turn change? Do they just pass? Fenrir? Fuck them up! Okay. Time to cook? I don't think we need to cook. I think we just, we just got it for the most part. Normal summon Scareclaw. Alright! Max C challenge time, people! Nibiru isn't real! Can we get much higher? So high, -o -ho -ho. Ash, I see. We can still do it. I think we just use the arrival here. Special summon. Let's go. Which one is this? The ghost mortar and moonlit chill. The card is activated. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. How about no? 
You cannot target me. I will draw my cards. Get that shit out of my face. Uh, we just want to go for big, big attack. We're getting another one of these. It's not once per turn. Draw a card. An ash of my own. A little late there, buddy. Yeah. Try heart. I'm going first. I'm not going first. They passed. Get this. And then we get Acro Claw. A special summon the Acro Claw. And then that's 39 times two. Special summon the Cash Tira. Vanish Straddle. Battle phase? Uh, let's attack with this one first. 26, 24. 42, and there we go, it's that easy. If your opponent passes and just hopes Max C will get them to victory, you're fine. You're perfectly fine. And with that, we go all the way up into Diamond 2 in the first two hours. Bad, this is the speedrun deck, I guess. Holy shit, we got one loss. We're sitting at 13 and one. We're just gonna keep going. We still haven't tribute summoned yet, so no test. Now here's where I hope they maxi me. Because otherwise, this hand is nothing. Well, it's not entirely nothing, chat. Thank you. And I said thank you, thank you, gotta be the thank you, thank you for giving me hope. Okay. So let's take a look at that hand, shall we? What do you got here? <laughs> <laughs> Who even needs bro? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just take the Fenrir, shuffle it back, and be like, yeah, you know, I'll, you know, I'll pass on this. Well, after I thrust for reinforcements of the army for next turn, be like, good luck. <laughs> All right, so we're at the end of our time for the first stream, and we're doing pretty well. We've already made it into Diamond 2. We have a really strong win rate, but as predicted, even though we're doing pretty solid going first, Whenever we lose that coin toss, it's kind of an uphill struggle. We can certainly come back against some decks, but against like Cash Tira and Pearly specifically, if they can set up going first, we, we have a really hard time. Ironically, even though we play a bunch of Cash Tira stuff, the entire Scareclaw engine kind of requires us to make use of the graveyard. So our opponent sitting on an Arise Heart is a bad deal. I'm still not willing to go full into hard go second, and I'm still not willing to get rid of the triple tactics thrust. I th still think like this is a pretty good engine. So we're keeping that, the two thrust, the one talents, but we've gotten rid of Dimensional Barrier, the go first card for Herald of the Abyss. You can search this out after the Arise Heart activates anything, and this forces your opponent to send a monster from their field to the graveyard which means not only can it get rid of something like, like the Arise Heart, it also works on the Noir, the Pearly, that is unaffected by your opponent's card effects, because it makes them do it. it. But we're playing one of those, we're still playing two of these, and then we've gotten rid of two of the Straddle. I still really like this card, I really like playing it at three. Having that protection against being negated, especially going first, is really nice. We haven't been running into that many in perms. It doesn't seem to be as popular these days. And if anything has got to go, this is probably the least useful. We had to get rid of one of those. So we're now on a 42 card deck that should make us a little more consistent. We've also altered the extra deck just slightly. Most notably, we added a big eye. This is good in the Cash Tira matchup because we can steal a Rise Heart and then make like a Zeus with it or something. And then we also added a Link Spider for Nibiru, because we've been hit with Nibiru a surprising number of times. This is an effect monster we can make out of the token, and then if we have something like the Arrival, which we're still playing at three, we could summon back some stuff and maybe go into the second Tryheart. Hard to say. 
Still not quite sure about these. As much as popular as these are, I feel like these are the next things to go. Even if they are go second cards, they're just not always as useful as I would hope. But we'll see. We made this one. Next stream, we'll be trying it out, seeing how it does. And who knows, maybe we'll be back here making some more changes. But we've got Mark II. All right, and here we are. Stream number two, day number two. It's... It's two. We're back once again. I have not played in the intervening time, and the deck is the same deck that I just showed you like a moment ago. I'm not really gonna go over it. We haven't made any changes. I already explained it. Although, as always, I do like to point out whenever Master Duel has an update, and we did get an update. They added new cards to the shop. New cards, Pog Champ. I mean, there's an Exo Sister pack, so those are now like not as expensive and you get one free pull. So let's go ahead and take a moment real quick. Will we get anything substantial? No. You know, I'll still take free cards. Why not? More importantly though, they added a new selection pack, which contains quite a few things. It's got a uh, Cyber stuff, the Arrival Cybers, adding Nister and Firewall Dragon Singularity. Good old Link 6 monster, which I've heard is pretty good, especially with the previous firewall stuff we've got. Link Decoder is supposed to enable a bunch of combos that I'm unfamiliar with. We've got a new ritual deck, the new Vels, that are based off Hungry Burger. They finally made Hungry Burger into an archetype, and they're here. They're not particularly good, but they're not like awful. We might run into them. The big threat out here is Vanquish Soul. This is another deck, kind of like many others that have showed up on Master Duel, where in real life it was like the fourth or fifth best deck. I believe Vanquish Souls came out in like two sets. So like they had one wave of support and then another. We've got all the support here, and we've gotten it before some of the newer stuff has come out. So these might have a chance to actually be more powerful in Master Duel than they were in real life. And I have no idea how they play. I just know they're based off fighting games. Like, I know a lot about the theming, but I don't know what their actual strategy is. So, we're gonna figure it out together. It might be an interesting day. I might see a whole bunch of new decks. And who knows, if people are bad at piloting them, that might enable us to just go ahead and run our way up into Master. That's what I'm hoping for today. But we won't find out until we get into the duels. All right, all right. Is Ash gonna have to do a lot of work, but we've got a whole setup for the Scareclaw stuff. Gotcha. Let me just Ash the big welcome. Easy peasy. And then we just have to worry about the other three or four things. Ah, Fenrir. My boy. Let's rear our Fen. Ah, I guess I should have known they had the driver. I just didn't expect them to get both. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll allow this. Let's go ahead, get some, get some extra cards. Chop. And normal summon Arco. We're gonna be an Arcrobat. No. Unless one of these is called by not called by. Okay, they're like, no, you're not allowed to have anything. I know this is a one card combo. I get one draw. It's a good thing we drew two though, chat. Now we can do this. Yo, what up? The one card was Maxi! Son of a bitch! Oh, uh, that's fine. I think we could OTK, hopefully, maybe. I'm gonna summon this just in case they have some way to remove the other one. Grab. Activat. Oh, three, three defense position monsters on the field? Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and yeah, we gotta go for the straddle. Go for max damage. Draw a card? Yes. Rhoda. Uh, okay, let's blow up this last back row. 
Doesn't help you this time. I'm a Link deck. Yeah, we're gonna get Baloney on here. Just gotta hope they don't get Nibiru in three more cards. Everything's got zero defense. And get us the one that lets us attack a whole bunch. Alright! And that should be game. Because I do piercing. There's 39. Um, actually, yeah, this just ends it now immediately in case they think they have something. Let's just, uh, gain 600 more. Dink. Maxi can't save you today! Ha cha cha da cha 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 all right, three duels in, and we're already ready to rank up into Diamond 1. Granted, we lost the coin toss. We're going second. That hasn't been a death sentence, not by any means. But it's certainly not preferable. And they've got the spooky, the spooky field. Ah. I guess we're playing Cash Tira this game, chat. Scareclaws? Haven't heard of them. Could be anything. Jackal. Is it a jackal? It's a jackal. Pendulums. Alright. So I think at this point, what I do is, like, summon the Fenrir, go for the Surge, because I don't need it. They'll negate, but then that turns on the triple tactics and the thrust. All right, I mean, this is a soft once per turn, but they only have enough to do it once, right? Yeah, so we special summon this. Howdy. Yeah, so I can banish it now to summon this. No, I want to keep it off so I can get the... Um... Yeah, so now I unicorn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I want Birth over Theosis at this point. We Thrust, they Negate, we Talents, we Steal. Try to Thrust. No. Uh, Activate. Steal a monster. Yeah, I didn't think they'd let the Thrust go through. All right, show me that extra. Um, yeah, I don't like this. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, we do this. Normal summon this. We're going to make this instead. Make Barone, activate, pop this. They have to negate. He gives the negate. Deleted. Now we can special summon Scare Cash. Banishing that out of the graveyard. Special summon the right cart. Yeah. Draw a card, yes. Oh, another one. Don't worry, we got this. And we search Astra. 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> 41! All your counters gone! I don't need any of that nonsense! It's just, it's just insult to injury. It's like, not only are you dead, but you die with no counters. Not if I can help it. And, uh, speaking of helping that, we've just helped our way into Diamond 1. We're five short duels away from making it into Master on the second day, which, probably a new record for this show. I don't know what to ash in the pearly, if they have any other card. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess we Ash, Lily, because that's a guaranteed. Yeah, like they can't make Plump. This is a quick effect if it has pretty memory. Okay, so they can just target an effect monster and negate its effects. Max C, I see. I have the anti Max C cannon. You're not allowed. Okay, now let's pretend like we're playing um, Cash Kira. Yeah, you have to negate that. Whatever will I do? Normal summon Scareclaw. I mean, if you want to ash this. No. Ah! That! That is a bit of a sticky wicket! But I'll be able to beat over this anyway, right? Yeah. Try heart in a dream, baby! Try heart in a dream! Set. You think that'll save you? It will not. Oh, hey, Ash. You got the other Maxi in hand? Reich Phobia! The last card is Maxi. Sorry, no Maxis for you today. I drew both the outs. Little puppies will be very scared of my giant claws. They were... That's three attacks for 3,900. There we go. That's how you beat the puppies, chat. All you gotta do is have them brick. As long as they brick, you do perfectly fine. <laughs> All right, so after having a pretty good run and still having a pretty solid win rate, we unfortunately hit a long string of losses that bumped us back into Diamond 2. And those have been almost entirely on the back of losing to Nibiru and Maxi drawing Nibiru. So we need something to stop Nibiru. Now the one out we have going first is making Barone to floor. If we can get Scareclaw Reichardt with any of the level 3 Scareclaws, then we can use the search off the field spell to get Starfrost, and that allows us to make Barone in addition to everything else. So what we've done is just try to make that a little bit more consistent by bumping down to 40 cards, but we removed two of the arrival. I figure we'll just search it when we need it, and that should hopefully make that a little more consistent. Now, in addition, we are playing the one out to Nibiru, which is Cross Out Designator, along with a copy of Nibiru. So if we happen to get this, we can stop it. That also stops the Maxi. It also stops Ash. So hopefully that'll work out. The next alternative after that is to run an adventure engine. This has some synergy. We don't really use a lot of normal summon effects, and that'll allow us to get a negate on. But I don't want to put another bloated, like, 45-card deck with two Garnets in it. I'd rather try this that's more like a streamed-down version of the previous deck. Now, with that, in order to keep the Cross out and the Nibiru, I've taken out the Thrust and the Talents. We haven't been activating those a lot. They haven't won us a lot of duels. And I feel like, especially against some of these Rogue decks, Nibiru is proving a little bit more useless. It won't help us against Lab but it will help us in some of the Cash Tira matches and some pearly matches it can be useful. And against all the stuff like Mathemech and the Cybers things we've been running into, having three of this should work. So we're gonna try this. If this doesn't work, we'll maybe try the adventure stuff. And if that doesn't work, then we go, we give up the go first and we decide to go on the go second OTK build. But for now we're trying this version 2.5. Let's see if it works. All right, first game with Nibiru, and we drew it. We've got a rock, I mean a big ass rock. Maybe something like a cinder block is better. Hey. All right, Fenrir. But it's Kashtira. All right, will the Kashtiras play into Nibiru? No, they're just ending on Shangri-Era and probably Big Bang or something. All right, well, it's not a Rise Heart. Ah, my favorite. Uh, what are the chances if they've got the trap? Yeah, if they've got the trap, this will bait it out. And it'll get us an extra card. Ooh, or the called by. 
I guess it's good we baited that out as well. Okay, there's the nice. Fenrir. Oh, they went for Unicorn. Okay, so that, that pretty much guarantees that this isn't the trap, because the trap, unless the trap searches from hand? I don't think it does. Okay, so let's Arco. Let's go ahead and do this, just in case. The link that searches the field spell, chat! It's in perm. That's perfectly fine, actually. Unless they take out the other, if they take out the other light heart from the extra deck. You magnificent bastard, you read my book! Son of a bitch! Uh, that's fine though. We get the visa. That means we can bring back Lightheart. Try heart. Try heart brings back this. What do you got, Nibiru? Ash. Yeah, I guess we just save this for next time. Battle phase. Run over this. What's in your hand? Two Fenrirs or something? Unfortunately, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure they have a solid clean out to try hard. I guess if it tributed itself, that would work. Okay, I need to draw, like, Acro. Oh wait, no I don't. I can bring it back. Bring back this and get Acro. Bring back Acro, get that. Scare Cash! Okay, so we get multiple attacks. Yeah, we go for this still. That gives us more attacks. Underworld Goddess. Um... What happens? You can't block me! The fuck? Um... Am I negated? What does this mean, chat? Um, oh, I can't summon adjacent. Uh, that's fine, though. Twin Saw? It has to be Twin Saw, right? Because this only gives it to... No, it's just in the, the extra monster zone. They don't have to be underneath it. Alright, big attack! Attach three, target one card, banish it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You didn't say the magic words. I have straddle! What if you were negated? What you think about that? Now you know how I feel. Alright, so what happens if I attack Scare Cash? Nothing. Oh yeah, I'm not affected by defense position. Yeah, so I need to kill this and... Let's kill this first. Give me my stuff back. Get out of here. And you... My zones! Uh, and fuck you too, Baltimore! Oh, I can attack again. I get four attacks, I forgot. Um, do we activate the Wraith Soap? Yeah, I guess we do. Unicorn. And all I can make is another one of those. Okay. We're not out of the woods completely yet, but we're in a pretty good position. Shit. That can destroy my tryhard. 
Or it can try. Two defense. Fuck, they could get Big Bang, can't they? God damn, evenly. Well, that's a nice draw, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm banishing these. Yeah, I'm gonna use a rival. Uh, okay. Going for this. Don't tell me you have Ash, too. Uh, we go for... Oh, I can already pop with the field spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so we get this. I really wanted to use this on the trap, but we gotta use it to get rid of Fenrir here. That way we could do this. And then there's three, so we'll get the search and the draw. I should have summoned it here. What was I thinking? Wait, my effects, uh, they can't decide if my effects are activated or not. Okay. Yeah, we just do Twin Saw now. Pop this and this because it can save itself. Wait, did they not summon from the deck? Do they not have any more cash cards in deck? Did I run them out of cash? Uh, normal summon. They can preserve this. Oh, I thought they had to detach. Oh, they did have to detach. Okay. Oh, shit. They do have um, kaijus. That could be bad. Uh oh. That's no good. Uh, they can attack into the defense mode and make Zeus! Son of a bitch! Yeah, I don't know. Do I just activate Twin Saul now? There's no chance they have any links, right? Might as well. This is my last one. All right! Yeah, people are pointing out, I think we've got it from here. That's pretty nice. Okay, and now we reveal that we had a cash engine the whole time. Unless you've got Ash. Okay. Let's go ahead. Maybe they're waiting for the Ash for the spell to come down and they'll Ash this by accident. Nope, okay. I got Scoliosis. That activates the unicorn. I think I'm more worried about the Barone at the moment. Mailer! <laughs> A big eye! Change to attack position, that'd be three, four. <laughs> Gee, Billy, how come your mom lets you have two Zeus's? This is something you don't see in Master Duel very often. This is someone, you can submit this to Master Duel, scary Master Duel screenshots. Two Zeus's. Uh, yeah, that would be a win condition. What did they search? Druus Worm. Bow. 
battle phase? They... Oh, they don't have anything to link it off. We've looked at their extra deck. I mean, yeah. It's a knockdown drag out duel. I'm not afraid. I call him. Getting close, chat! It's so close! They're just setting a card. I think as long as we can get over it with Zeus, which we should be able to, we can just attack for 15. Go, Zeus! Yes! Oh, the long, hard-fought battle! We are the superior cash deck! And the Nibiru's uh, did not help. They, they didn't help at all, but, you know... I guess they weren't terrible. We, we, you know, we had them. All right, this is this is the combo. Maybe even Wombo. Normal, go this. I think if we we win to everything except for if this is Ghost Ogre, we get mega punished. Hey, Vsauce, Starfrost here. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same play as last time. So I guess I was wrong. We don't need, um... It's not Vsauce in a three, unless I'm mistaken. It's a four and two threes. If we had one more extender, we'd be fine. Yeah, we gotta negate that one. And now they have Thruster, Talents, or- Oh! Psyframe Gear Gamma. Uh, good thing I saved the Ash for that. It's okay, I have no more monster effects to worry about. I just gotta remember not to do this in the standby phase, like last time. Because they have the Gamma in hand, and that would be bad. I mean, the unfortunate thing here is that they, if they pass, there's not a lot I can do. Oh, okay, they just surrendered. That's even better. Good. Most good indeed. Okay, this isn't awful. We've already got Twin Saw, which means we can afford a free extender. Um, we use the cross out while we can. Otherwise, it might just sit in your hand. Ghost Warner. See, that's why we saved the called by. Fuck your hand traps. I, I will resolve. As long as I know how to live, I know I'm still a doll. Well, fuck! Aren't you just dandy hand trap McGee over here with every hand trap in the game? Coming down from Schmeckeldorf Town. Guess what? I have a hand trap too! Get that shit out of here! Be gone, the hand trap wars have. Oh, And they just had Stratos. He's had Stratos, Jack. Yeah, we just do it here, right? They'll get the the vision hero in the back row, but they won't be able to do anything. Begun the top deck wars have. Alright then. We know they're playing a million hand traps. Will they draw a name or will they draw a hand trap? Oh, 
Always on time. Uh, if I do this, they have Nibiru in the water in hand. They can just poly. Yeah, they can play with this. The problem, the question is, do I just want to try to turn off everything now? Yeah, this at least keeps them from making DPE. Oh. Weird. That does it. We got a name. Yeah, we know they can't stop us. It's just Polly and the other thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got them. Big number coming on down. Eh. Oh, okay. There we go. Dinosaurs. Called by? Not bad. Gotta do this on attack. Fenrir. Rexstrom. We Lightheart. Because we could still use this. I think not. Imperm, unfortunate. I could do this again, but I need to clear the extra monster zone somehow. One second. I could still use this. Uh, we get twin saw here. Yeah, while well, we can. Son of a bitch! I think we're still good though. First, let's put this out here. Yeah, then we can retain the uh, Fenrir. Oh wait, if we put everything to defense, we could just walk over it, right? I was thinking we'd have to make this, but if we just make Tryheart, they can't stop us, right? Because I'm unaffected by defense position monsters. Uh, battle phase. Big punch! <laughs> Puny dinosaur! <laughs> Alright, we haven't needed him yet, but I'm putting on the cool guy shades. It's been a struggle. We easily got into Diamond 1 at the start of this stream and then spent four hours being pushed back down. All we need is to get back into Diamond 1, and I'll consider this stream a success, and we can end it, but, uh, I want to get there first. We're going second, not the greatest. We've got full combo, plus this, plus maxi. Yo, what up? Judd Judd. I don't give a heck. Baller! <laughs> oh, maxi challenge succeeded. All right, set one pass. I think we have what it takes to beat set one pass. Especially with that, now they can't maxi us. Go, Fenrir! In defense mode, because that's where he's gonna end up anyway, even if we're going second. Unless I get like, mega disrupted, but the Fenrir somehow stays. Oh, what up? Scare cash. All right, normal summon the Astra. If I had known there were gonna be days like this, I would have stayed in the primordial soup. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm just the better player. You have to play under Maxi, and I do not. That's just the way the cookie crumbles.
go! Woohoo! Oh! Oh, the Widow Anchor, Sky Strikers. Um, unfortunately for you, I am just the better duelist. I cannot be negated. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be mishandled or labeled. I am beyond the pale, beyond exception. Get out of here. Stop standing in my way. I will defeat you. Don't tell me that was five. There's no way that's five. No, come on, it's my birthday! Why would you, I'm just a, I'm just a wee little boy. I'm just a wee little boy on my birthday. That's fine. We're still gonna kill them. I mean, OTK them. Give me the token. It's mine. I want it. Activate scare cash. Defense mode. Banish the useless one. Special summon. Reichardt. Activate. Give me the extender. I am going to extend into oblivion. Draw a card? Yes, I'm drawing a card. Thank you, baloney. Get your stupid ass rock out of my face. I'm tired of it. I don't want to hear it anymore. I play Link Spider. <laughs> I was prepared for this inevitability! You think you can come in here in my house and throw rocks at me? I will still make the Reichardt. Try as you might, run from it, avoid it, try heart still comes! You're going here. We're getting Acrobat. You know what? We've already got game, but I don't care. I'm overextending because I want Baloney to watch. I want you to know, as the light fades from your eyes, that Baloney was there to witness the death of a jabroni. I hope jabroni's not like a slur or something. I don't think it is. I think it's just a wrestling thing. But there we go! That's what I'm talking about. That's how Scareclaws do it. And with that, we go back up into Diamond One where we belong. <sighs> and here we are, dawn of the third stream. We're almost halfway there and we're still in Diamond One. I didn't play very much over the weekend, or rather I did play over the weekend, but I played the Ritual Festival. I wanted to try out some megaliths and, and get some more gems. So that's nice, pretty decent festival overall, although you can still play some non-rituals. Yeah, in addition to still being in Diamond, which you can't see now because they altered how this works and put the proficiency rank, we also, during one of those duels last time, I think at the very end, probably didn't get shown, but we did manage to tribute summon a Nibiru. I think we tribute set it. So we've passed this, which means we can continue. We can go and get rank five by passing the test. So before we begin dueling, let's see if we can pass the test. Let's go, timing. Proficiency. We get to hear the In World's Cho, the solo mode, which of the following was found by Aram and the party after they found the World Legacy Chalice? They found the armor, right? Yeah, because it had all the crawlers in it and everything. Which of the following is also treated as a trap card? It's the Conquistador. The power of reading, chat! Which of the following counters is placed by Roadnut? Nut counters all the way! When a card has nut counters, you remember it. If Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer and Thunder King Ryo, Dimension Fortress Weapon, and GB Hunter are all on the field, which of your actions can the opponent not take? So they can't banish cards, they can't send from deck to graveyard, they can't return to the deck, and they can't add from deck to hand. And so they can't send from deck to the graveyard. That's okay. I'm gonna have to check that out. Which is not implemented in Master Duel. Um, Pot of Temperance? I don't think I've heard of that one. I guess that's why it's not implemented. 
There you go. Easy. Five out of five. We got it. Let's go to the list. What's our practical exam this time? What are we going to do? Complete a duel. Destroy ten cards. All right. That shouldn't be too difficult. We do have the twin saw that destroys cards. And we do complete duel. So let's go ahead. I guess we'll, we'll continue that. We're still on the go first variant. This is its last chance to get into master. If it doesn't, we're switching to go second. So let's see how this works. What? I just got here. Come on. How are you going to make me lose two coin tosses and then kick me back down? I was confused for a second. Dragon Maids? All right, I might have a chance, unless this is Dragon Link, with like a Maid Splash. Nope, I may be doomed. Ancient Fairy Dragon? They've already played three field spells. Do they have a fourth one? How many cards in extra deck? Eight. And they're not going for the fusion. They do have another... Kayatu Waterfront! 4-4. Four, four. Skulldred. Skulldred, search Gamma Seal. Summon Gamma Seal. And that's why they're called the Turtle. Um, your opponent activates a card or effect. Negate the activation if you do banish that card. Not once per turn, not even once per chain, does not target. Imagine if they didn't have called by, chat. Come on, you piece of shit! <laughs> And we go back down into Diamond 2. Rip Aroni. All right, so it's been about two hours and we've been stuck in Diamond 2. It's just not been a very good time today. Unfortunately, it feels like every time we win the coin toss, we go first, we get hit by Nibiru. And despite our best attempts, we just keep losing to Nibiru. And our own Nibirus don't seem to be doing much when we go second. We just don't have enough go second tools to really deal with everything that the meta is throwing at us right now. So I considered making a scary adventure deck, you know, Scareclaw plus adventure, but there's a lot of URs and I pulled chat and chat's just not feeling very adventurous today. So we decided instead, you know, let's just go ahead and try the blind second Scareclaw. Let's just not even try to go first. In which case, we don't really have to worry as much about Nibiru or Maxi. Our only real thing now is if they build a board and we break through it, and they also have Maxi, and then Maxi draws them Nibiru, which is a very oddly specific case. So we're not even playing Called by the Graves anymore. We're playing three Kurikara Divi Carnate. We're back on two arrivals since that helps us go. Kashtira Engine has been pared down to just two Fenrir to scare cash and the field spell, I guess. Unicorn doesn't really do a whole lot going second. And in its place, we've decided to basically just play a full on thrust engine. We're actually playing three copies of thrust and then a whole bunch of power spells that'll help us in different situations. One Raigeki for big monster boards, one Feather Duster. We've still got the Rota. We've got Herald of the Abyss for dealing with Noir. Uh, and we've got triple tactics for other gummy board states where we want to draw or maybe steal a card instead. We are still playing one straddle, one twin saw in case someone forces us to go first. We have those options, but we can always take those out if need be. We're finally going second with a more pure Scareclaw build. Let's see if we can get those OTKs. All right, all right. We're pretty good. Just start with that blind Maxi. All right, we have won the Maxi minigame. What will, what can they do? Oh. Oh, it's the mirror match. Oh no. Will we get to see a scary reflection of our own power thrown back at us? They're just gonna set the splash and be like, yeah, we'll deal with it next time. 
Oh. And probably the twin saw too. I mean, fortunately, we can we could deal with this. Oh, you got um. Okay, they're just activating that now. Max C. All right. But we are the better Scareclaw player. We drew uh, Ash Blossom for turn. So, yeah. Unless you want to negate that with the Splash. Which, yeah, I guess you could. And I think we want to use the Herald of the Abyss because if that is Twin Saul, we just want to get rid of it, right? Send one Dark Beast Warrior you control to the graveyard. Thank you. Let's go ahead for Wraith South. Add the designated cards. Yes. Defense! Chomp, chomp, chomp. And then we reveal our power level, right? We let them know, like, hey, buddies, you're doomed. Big attack one? They've got something there. Probably saving it for the right card, if I had to imagine. If they've got an imperm. Yeah. They know how this works. Uh, okay. Let's see if this is a twin saw. No, it was just a straddle. I want as many attacks as possible. And they've got another imperm. Oh, and with that, I think we might be doomed, chat. And they did have Nibiru anyway, so... Alright, but I mean, that's alright, because it turns on the triple tact. Um, let's banish the Fenrir. And then we triple tactics talent. Yeah, I think we just draw two, or do we take that Nibiru? Still don't think that's enough to OTK. Yeah, let's draw two. That's probably the best two we could have gotten, chat. Link Spider. Let's arrival. And then it's time for the second tryhard. Let's go. So I can make several attacks. We'll go ahead into that. We should have three attacks plus this, right? Because I have three Scare Claws in defense mode. There's one, two, a three. And there we go, chat. The power of Go Second. We played through Imperm, we played through uh, Nibiru, and we played through Max C. Who needs all of them? We will just continue to extend forever. <laughs> There's two kinds of people that would make a deck like this chat. It's either someone who does not have very many ultra rare points. And so they just, and very many super rare points for that matter. And so they just included everything. Or someone who after each loss was like, why did I lose? Oh, I know, it's because I didn't have Ghost Bell. So they threw in a Ghost Bell. And they're like, why did I lose? I need Nibiru to draw off of the Max C. Damn Labyrinth, I need to put a Red Reboot in so I can stop them. Okay, I need to have Evenly Matched so I can stop something. Cash Tira Overlap, just in case. Either that or they're all crossout targets. They're playing 51 of so they can play the one crossout designator. Right. It was pretty good. <laughs> hey. Pretty good. Ritual Festival? I played a little bit of it. Aw, oh, ninjas! It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a ladder climb if we didn't play last month's deck. Time to fight the ninja. I feel like Raigeki goes pretty hard against them here though, right? Ooh, all the defense positions. Yeah, they don't have a great answer to, to Raigeki. Sadly for them. Raigeki! 
Now, if they have, like, Book of Moon or something into the Dancing Leaves, then I might be in trouble, but I still have the Kurikara and the Thrust. Okay, they're activating that now, though. And they're activating the scroll, so I assume they're just gonna get the, uh, the little ninja. But they won't be able to summon with it, because they need ones of different types. Oh, they just going for green? But green just gets destroyed here. Okay. Cool, man. Cool. That's that's neat. Um, normal summon Arco. Okay, let's pop this back row just in case. Called by. Called by the Arco. That actually. I don't think it stops us from OTKing, but it does hurt. Uh, can we still special summon this? Yeah, its effects are negated, but it's still here. And we'll summon this too. Yeah, they... they <laughs> I had a piercer that could attack like four times, and I'm not sure exactly how the scare cache works, if negating their effect allows it to be destroyed by battle, but that would leave them with nothing. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Sometimes you just top deck Raigeki, and uh, yeah, practical exam. We got that too. We destroyed many cards. All right, we're still trying to get into to Diamond 1. I don't really want to take a break, but we might as well do this and get the next one started while we can. We've got the question, you know, a man deep in thought as he concentrates on a challenging brainstorming session. I mean, I'm almost there. I just need a different colored top hat, different kind of mustache, and we're good. Okay, Master Duel 6. Show me the next questions. Let's go. Five out of eight. There's a lot this time. Okay, speed run. Question number one. In Enforcers of Justice in solo mode, which of the following monsters, also known as the Black Dragon, marches with the Light Swarms? It's probably the one that's black. The Punishment Dragon. Question number two. What's the name of this card? Um, Sandion, the Time Lord. He does 4,000 when he attacks. Uh, which card has an effect that forces each player to only control face-up monsters of one attribute? Um, that's Rivalry of Warlords, I think. Fuck, is it Rivalry or Go Gozen? I forget which one is the attribute. No, it's Gozen. Gozen is attribute. Uh, what type of card? Machine. It's a light machine. Question number five. Which of the following effects cannot be activated the turn you activate Rite of Aramisir? You can't normal summon monsters effects. So thank you, Gixo, for the five gifted subs. If you didn't get one, you gotta type evaded in the chat. In the fairies who paint the weather in solo mode, who is introduced as a bit shy, but the most diligent? That would have to be Painter Rain. Fairy drawing. She's got the nerdy glasses. That's how you know. Which of the following accessories can be configured in the dual editor? I don't know, four? It's five, I should have known. I don't even understand that question. How did people hear the voice of the Herald? Came directly to their mind, spoke in their dream, whispering, they heard a loud voice from the sky. It's gotta be from the sky, right? No, it came directly in their minds. All right, but I still got six out of eight, you know. What the fuck is this question trying to say? Which of the following accessories can be configured? It's supposed to say how many accessories can be edited or something like that, but it's very bad English translation. And this, I mean, hardly, I'm surprised I know as many of the solo mode stuff as I do. Anyway, we got it still, clear conditions, we're fine. Practical exam, special summon a monster? We'll have that done in one duel, baby. Okay, back to the duels. Oh, hey, it's the thing we actually prepared for. The future! Did you know that Noir can be Ixie summoned using a monster with five or more materials? Any rank two with five or more materials 
So if a so cute boss happens to get five materials on it, chat, you know what that means? Two Noirs! Nibiru, they negate it with Draco Future. Just in time, buddy. No. No, you're not allowed to maxi on top of everything. Of course the set card was called by! Why wouldn't it be? It's Jover. Yep, it's way Jover. Let's try it. I can pop, but unaffected. Unaffected. Cannot be destroyed. So I can't deal with any of those. Okay, they're just gonna negate. Yeah, I guess I could make this and then attack and then make Zeus, but that... Zeus doesn't do anything to Noir. I have to draw two and hope I get something. Pop that. Special summon this. Banish that from Grave. Yeah, and they're just gonna shuffle it back because they know I've already done the normal summon. Raigeki. I killed one. Yep, Curry Kara would have done good if we had drawn it. And also could have baited out the, the other one, but I don't know why they would activate the other one. Does Curry Call work against towers? Yes. Well, there you are. Is it during the main phase that activated their effects this turn. So if I can get them to use this on Lightheart, then we can get everything, right? Come on, UDF, you don't want that to resolve. You don't want me to have Scare Claws, do ya? No, no, that would be bad. That would be bad for you. Go ahead and just negate that. Oh, now you got three monsters. Uh, special summon. Get rid of everything. The Dippy Carnate arrives. Run from it. Hide. Carnation appears. And also, last clause, this one, so. We'll just bring this out and go ahead into the Lightheart, who is not once per turn, by the way. So we'll go ahead and search uh, Rykphobia. Giant Scareclaw. Tryheart. And there we go! We beat the Pearly Menace! Take that! Curry Kara! <laughs> the Divi Carnate! Why couldn't that be our rank up duel? Oh, I wish it was the rank up duel. Fifth time! This is the fifth time we're knocking a diamond one again! This go second version has not been great. People are playing around all the triple tactics. We're not drawing Curry Kara as much as we would like. There is just some very, very brutal decks out there that are absolutely devastating us. But uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep bashing our head against the wall and hoping. Oh boy, this this maxi has to resolve and get us like two cards, or we're just done for. That's the thing I hate most about maxi too, right? Is like you have to play it because it's like the best go second card you could possibly do. But everyone knows to play around. <laughs> Everyone's playing the counters. If you don't play it, you just go, well, we've got Fenrir. 
And no scare. Well, we got scare, cash. Go, Fenrir. Get us the tools. Activate Fenrir. And if they thrust us, then... Or if they ash us, then thrust is online. Okay. I think we can OTK from here. No, I don't think we can, but it doesn't matter! They didn't know that! And so finally, after getting beat down over and over again, we win the easiest duel of our career and finally get back into Diamond 1. Okay, we're already in overtime. I'm already trying to ride this streak, but we finished this a while ago and everyone wants to do the exam. So we're doing the seventh exam. We're getting up here and we're gonna do it fast. We get the Synchro Silver for the next Synchro deck. Let's go, get five out of eight. Speed run time. Question number one. What is the name of this card? Crimson, or no, Red Resonator. Crimson is the, the other one. Very similar name though. What is the name of this one? I know it's Amphibious Bergamoth. I think it's Mark III. Yeah, Mark XI's the bigger one. In Despian Tragedy is sent from your hand to the graveyard by one of the following cards, which can activate the effect of Despian Tragedy, which reads, if this is sent from the graveyard banished by a card effect, you can add one Despian card. It's branded opening, right? Branded opening. Yes, that discard, the rest are cost. When Synchro summoning Quarian Gondrax, which of the following monsters is appropriate to use an additional material in combination with Rion? This is two tuners, right? So we got three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight and nine, which means we need our girl Citri, level two tuner. Let's go, I am the Crystron Master. What level is this card? The same level as all of the, uh, the Monarchs, five. Yeah, okay. I was like, it's not six. I know it's one tribute either way. What is the name of this card? Ultimate Ancient Gear Golem, right? Yeah, because it's three Ancient Gear Golems put together. What level is this card? It's always treated as 12, I believe. It doesn't matter. I've already won. Yeah, it's always treated as 12, even though it has zero. What type is this card? Fiend? No, it's a spellcaster. Whatever, I've already I've already won. I haven't played the Kruger deck. No such thing as level zero. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Either way, what's our fusion synchro Ixy? Well, I think that's about as far as we're gonna get for this ladder climb. I don't have any fusions or synchros in this deck. Well, maybe if we put in if Visa Starfrost back in, we might be able to do it, but uh yeah, I think that's about as far as we get for this one. Let's go. We're running up. We've got 20 minutes. I'm very hungry, chat. I hunger for food, but I can't eat until we get into Master. No more food till Master 5. No more food to keep me alive. Well, I do got the fishes, and they're so delicious. So we can eat some of those. Okay, Ash, Curry, Kara, Raigeki. That's all right. All okay. right. One back row. Plus thrust. Plus ash for the max C. Let's see what you got. Max C. Sorry. I'm the better duelist. Well, fuck. I still think we go for it, right? We're just going to try to OTK. I'm just realizing we should have gone for it. I think we still get our way into the OTK. We just have to make them draw like three cards. Astra. Yeah, we have to special summon the Astra. And then we have to make another try heart because right now we just get... 3,000. Yep, I should have just gotten the other arrival. That would have been way better. 3 times 2 plus 26. Yeah, there we go. Activate this. Special summon. 
And if you don't have Nibiru now, I just win. Let's go. Battle phase. There's 3,000. There's 3,000. There's 2,600. Bada bingo! Bada bango! Nibiru simply is not real. All right, scare lads and scare lasses. We've been on a win streak. One more win and we get to master. We're going. They're on a losing streak. We have the mandate of heaven. We're the ones that can make it into master. I believe. I believe. Just gotta go. Gotta believe. Going second. We got the max C. They're playing a 60 card deck. So this is absolutely going to be useful against them. If they just pass, we've got all the tools. Maxi resolves. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Shit just got real. 60 cards and they activated the one of card destruction. What field spell do they get? Perlerino. Tier limit towers have returned. Okay, so we've got a million cards, and they've got Triple Tax Dragon. What is the most effective way to deal with the Tax Dragon? I think we need to start with this. Wow, that is a lot of damage. Uh, add the designated cards. Yeah, we're gonna go for Fenrir. Okay, Fenrir is a free special summon, doesn't activate. Okay, and they've done that. So now they've turned on a couple things. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Uh, let's do it. Hello there. Set right, Geki? No. Like Mad Stan would always say, you want to deal with a problem? Got to blow it all up. Lightning. Real lightning. Everybody's gone. No more taxes for me, baby. Okay, so everything's dying in the end phase. So I need to OTK here. Do I look at the hand? Yeah, of course I do. Why wouldn't I? I've got all the tools. I just need to make sure they don't have the tools to stop me. What do you got? That does not look like much. Let's just put the Rhino Heart back into the deck. Okay. Normal summon baloney. Oh wait, do they have something in Graveyard? No, they have the Shuffler, but I think we're still good. For a second, I was like, fuck, did they have snow and I wasn't paying attention? Go, Reichardt! Draw me the cards I need! Oh yeah, they can bring that back, I forgot. Uh, I think that's still fine. We just have to get two of these. Yeah. Do they have... No, they don't. Yeah, we just blow that up. And then we just attack for 334 times 3. We don't even have to activate it. Battle phase. Let's go. Attack number one. Attack number two! Do we finally get into master? Attack number three! Nope. Maxi, stop. You've already activated. There we go! Thank the Lord! It has been a long night. We have been here for five and a half hours. It was much more difficult. And to be honest, we only won that one because of Maxi. But we did win that one. Which means we rank up into Master 5. Power of the Lion! Don't stop me now, baby. Because we're going to keep going up. Next stream. Next for now, I'm gonna go get a sandwich. I am hungry. All right, here we are. Dawn of the fourth stream, which means we're officially halfway. We've got three streams behind us, 
three streams ahead of us, and we're already in Master 5. We're in Master, now we've just gotta go to the top. And I think I have just the deck to do it. I didn't play very much over the intervening day in between this stream and the last one, but I did look at some tier lists talking about the current meta in Master Duel. And after looking at what were like the most played decks and the top decks, I decided that since we're going into Master, we should try to make it more themed to be anti-meta. So I took out the Kurikara and I've replaced them with Book of Eclipse. We played this a little bit last time. I think it'll be better in this deck, specifically because we gained so many advantages by having monsters in defense. If we can put three of their monsters in defense, then we can pop cards without even having to summon a monster, assuming we have the field spell. It also lets us get the search off Reichardt more often, and we can usually do piercing and stuff anyway. In addition to that, we're also playing Drollin Lockbird instead of Ash. Most of the top decks, the ones that are performing really well right now, are doing more than one search per turn. So I think it might be better to Drollin Lock than it would be to Ash Blossom. This may change out, we'll see. There is always the Nambo with Maxi, but that also does, in case we're going up against like the Math Mech deck, the, the Cybers pile, they have the potential to deck you out if you Maxi. So this lets us stop our own Maxi after we've drawn like 10, 12 cards. There is also one other change that I forgot to make. One second. Huzzah! Through the magic of editing, I have changed the deck. Can you tell what, what changed? It's the extra deck mostly. I've decided we're gonna play three light heart and three try heart. There's been enough duels where like, I wish I had a third one of these or a third one of these that I think it's worth playing. And there's a couple cards that we've just gone into so few times that I just don't think there's a point, especially now. I think we just removed the cash tier extra deck monsters. There are still a chance that like we end on these two and we might want to make a Shangri-Era or whatever but that hasn't happened since we've shifted away from a go first deck. So I think we're better with this. This gives us more options, more ability to grind through games and hopefully OTK on follow-up turns if we miss it on the first turn. So yeah, Scareclaw Mark IV, let's see how it does. All right, chat, we got 37 minutes. What do you want to talk about? Doesn't Book of Eclipse just, like, roast them? Book of Eclipse stops Sleeper, but that's usually what they end on. Nightmare Unicorn, shuffle their own field spell back? No, shuffling Recital back. They have not yet begun to make the <laughs> Link Ones. There's Doolahan. Someone said we need to watch out for that. Reaper Dokus. That's never good. Appalooza. Assembled Nightingale. Then attach nine materials. And then make Angel of Mischief. And there you go, chat. Angel of Mischief FTK. If you've never seen that before, now you have. Good job. You got to see the, the animation and it only took, um, I, I don't know, editor, you wanna, you wanna time how many minutes that was? Wow. Huh. They're metagaming me with these sleeves. No, they're not. I absolutely saved my maxi. Really need that feather duster. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Ash! Alright, they use the ash here, that's fine. Normal summon. Oh, it's judgment here. Battle phase? End of battle phase? Uh, all right. Neat. Continue your main? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. 
Now I can bring it back! Uh, how much attack does Lightheart have? I keep forgetting. 500? So if they have one more time, I won't have the, the thing. Really shouldn't have set this. Oh, well that's nice. Yeah, fuck it, we do this now, right? What do they have in the graveyard? Nothing? Yo, what up? I'm thrusting. You better believe I'm getting Raigeki. Pop, pop, everybody drops. Go ahead, special summon. I like the idea of you special summoning a bunch. Drawing three more cards? Yay! Okay, so we special summon Astra. We activate the field spell. Let's get this one. Yo, about that back row. I'm gonna have to have you not activate that. I mean, I have zero attack on field, you know, so you can't exactly do a whole lot. Try hard time! Everyone goes to defense. And that's the way we wash those hands. Do ba do ba do ba do ba do. All right, they passed. So even if you want to play a silly goofy deck, you want to play Exodia or whatever, you gotta you gotta put in the UR tax. Baloney. Now they get the maxi. Let's go ahead and thrust here. It's possible they didn't do anything because they don't have anything. There's only one way to find out. I forgot, they don't control any cards. I forgot Thrust doesn't do anything if they don't have anything. Uh, I can still, unless they've got exactly an Abiru, I think we're fine. Yep, we have to do it this way. Give them three more draws. Ash Blossom. That'll do it, I guess. Yep, this is gonna have to... This is not looking good. Inperm? Uh, no. No, you can't inperm me. <laughs> Do you have another one? Oh, it's Pearly. Noir is unaffected by activated effects, right? But it can't actually get rid of this. So I think we want to do this now and maybe just keep them off of everything. Yeah, I think that'll be funny. We block the chain, and then we also force them to waste another card to put something on. Start again! Oh, there's the Azalea. Iggy! Oh uh, yeah, I ain't getting destroyed. I don't know what you're thinking. There you go, it's, it, you get to draw all the cards you wanted. Munch. I'm a munch. I'm a crunch. I kept hearing like I needed to prepare for leap, but this is the first time anyone's actually summoned it. Uh, okay. Dude, they're just activating everything. 
Let's go. Astra time. Do I still get the search? No, it's end if you do. That's fine. I just need to kill the Azalea because that can kill me in the damage step. Androlin lock. You activated Max C earlier, you remember, right? Um, I can't draw and search anymore. I'm pretty safe in this position. If I can make it till next turn, I could do quite a few things. <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> They're like, I can negate it and go to attack. No, no, I'm afraid you can't. Not today. <laughs> Sit your ass back down. <laughs> I can, I can just feel the dread of them, like, trying to look through their cards and drawing card after card and realizing they have no way to get rid of Try Hard. <laughs> uh, I guess we droll and lock here, right? Oh! That's the first time we've seen this time tearing Morganite. For the rest of the duel, you cannot activate monster effects in the hand. Draw two instead of one. Conduct two normal summons. Uh, I'm in danger though. If they just use a trap on the normal summon, I'm like dead, dead. All right, I'm gonna do the Mega Mind Games read on this, and we're just going to set and set most traps that exist that are like removal rely on you having face-up cards unless they've got exactly like compulse i doubt that they can activate anything on a face down card of course they're getting two now how can they flirt to lee i don't think they are i think this is just a trap deck i'm assuming this is oh god well actually that's not very good for them now they can't special summon right so this is just like a trap deck Go in. Yo, what up, nerd? My booty too big! So then they activate that. Try to target me. And then I activate Twin Saw. Get rid of this. Pop this. And we'll get rid of a back row as well. Ah, Crackdown. Now they've still got three back row that I'll have to worry about. That helps. Let's start with Arrival. Get that in the graveyard so if they have something to pop the, uh, the link, I can maybe negate that. Garua, draw a card. Okay, we're gonna Reich Phobia. Add card, yeah. We just need to get as many- this is a battle of the plus ones. So, we need to get Reichardt and grab another one of these. Grab another Arrival. Lightheart. Summon Baloney. Everyone to the fence. Alright, we get the Piercer, then we're gonna be multi-attacker. And now there's three monsters in defense. Crackdown. I'll steal your monster. Um, okay, so we blow up the other one, actually. No, because the this won't gain the effect if it's not in the main monster zone. Daruma. That's unfortunate. Yeah, so we, we played that well, either way. Because the thing was, we could have we could have blown up that, and if that was like uh, something else they couldn't activate, or like a torrential or something, then we like special summon this, a rival, make the second try heart, get thing, and then we OTK over our own try heart. As it stands, 
We don't have enough to get three cards on the field. So we just have to end it here. But they're down, so unless they get a whole bunch more stuff, we should hopefully be good. Shit. Yeah, and then they just get four more back row. Another punishment. Uh, no, because if they, they flip it up, then they can activate the thing on it. Uh, but if they do that, then we're... yeah. that they send Entis. What is Entis? Pops back with it. So they're keeping the field spell there. Come on, Feather Duster off the top. One time, one time, Feather Duster. Let's go. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, faith, heart of the cards, whatever you want to call it. There you go. Ask and you shall receive. And God, you know, I thought God was on my side, but God said no. It was like, yeah, you could have it, whatever, it ain't doing anything. Activate. Uh, summon. Search. Get straddle. Well, now if they have something that targets, I can at least beat over that. Battle phase! Let's go! Mirror force! Mirror force! <laughs> I was prepared for targeting. I wasn't prepared for the mirror force. Yep, you know, sometimes that's- you just lose to Morganite first turn with a bunch of traps. Alright, so we're not doing terribly, but we're also not tearing our way through Master like I had hoped. And that's because we decked out to be anti-meta, and Master 5 is not full of meta. I forgot that all the decks that, like, can barely make it to Master kind of float down at the bottom of Master 5, unable to be kicked back. We haven't gone against Math Mech once today. We faced like one Pearly deck. We have we faced like one Dragon Link deck. So instead of trying to hard counter them with things like Drollin Lock and the Book of Eclipse, I'm instead going to deck this out for things that are a little bit more generic. Specifically, we're worried about back row. So I'm gonna play Lightning Storm and I'm gonna go back to the Ash because that's a little bit more useful against the stuff we're gonna be playing. Since this is not like an upgrade or an advancement of the previous deck, but just an alternate version, and we're probably going to go back to that previous deck, I have renamed this Scareclaw Mark 4B. This is just an alternate version, and we'll see if this can help us climb a little bit faster. Maxi minigame failed. More kitty cats coming on down the lane, doing all the kitty cat stuff with the kitty cat games. Baloney. Yeah, now we steal. They're just gonna, you can't take it, I'm gonna shuffle it back. Oh wait, I could steal that one if I wanted to. Uh, but they would just negate it with this, right? I would rather take this one. Yeah, and then if I get rid of one, I can herald the other. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah.
Get rid of that. Then we thrust. Hello there. There we go. Bye bye. They're just like, I'm going to activate the things and you can't stop me. Goodbye. So, I mean, they still have two cards to do everything, but they've used up a lot of their extra deck. They've got five cards left. Is that enough to do everything now that we've broken the board? I mean, if it's like Lily into my friend into Sleepy Memory or whatever, the next damage will be zero. Okay, so they can discard one. So that gets them the Lily. Lily gets them my friend. But can they OTK from here? And then they're just gonna make Zeus. Oh no! Not Zeus, chat! Whatever will I do against the four material Zeus? What could I possibly have that might deal with that? The lightning of God rains down. Thor says die. Normal summon Scareclaw. Smile. Activate. Add card from deck to... They knew it was over! They knew it was over! Double Noir with the UFD? It means nothing to me! How long have you been in Masters? About four hours. I haven't the slightest clue what they're doing. But I feel like they've only just begun. Zelantis! But it came back. Wait, does that reset Electromite? No, it's a hard once per turn. They resetting the Ignisters? Yep, they just reset the Ignisters. This is still all just set up for something. Gallant Granite. Is this is this really what we're doing? Are we gonna do all this so we could we could normal summon fossil dice? <laughs> <laughs> so you're just gonna... All that to normal summon? I could have done this in Valence in half the time! Hard make Entis! They still have 15 cards in their extra deck. And three of them are not Pendulums. <laughs> Fossil Dino. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I think that does it. And of course, Maxi. Well, you know, they had the Maxi. The I'm so glad that Maxi stopped the combo decks, chat. We would be so lost without the combo decks. Oh, we could get Reichardt. Yeah, get Twinsol. They can't negate a trap. Okay, sure. I don't think you can rebuild. Yeah, we'll see what you do. Battle the fossil Dyna. If I attack, Hope Harbinger can redirect. Uh, all right. Yeah, we do this. We pop the right cart. We pop you. We pop you. That's all your disruption. You can't special summon anymore. It's that easy, chat. It's that easy. It's all you gotta do, baby. 37 minutes? Nah. Twin saw. All I need is a twin saw and I'm dead. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. If I win the coin toss, I'm deciding to go first. I'm tired of waiting through these combos. If I can end on fucking uh, Try Heart and that's enough to end, then I'm just, I'm fine.
Okay, it took a second. They got something. Maxi? Alright, Thrust. Ash. Uh, Reichphobia. Yeah. I'd pass. We want to make, um, we want to get at least one disruption. It'll cost them one draw, but I think it'll be worth it. So that lightning is a bluff? I mean, if they destroy everything, I'm good. Add a field spell, okay. Great soak, gotcha. Chain twin saw to theosis, okay, good point. They're not doing theosis. Battle phase. Uh, all right. I don't care, look at the extra deck, take the Zeus. Oh. Oh my. Oh my! They're just like all the bluffs. Uh, sure. I think your two best ones were the two first ones. Big Bang and Preparations? Pretty good. One of those is Birth. Oh, check this out, chat. Set a card. Lightning Storm. <laughs> Goodbye. Guess what I have? Hello, Jonathan. I've come to deliver the cash tears. <laughs> And here we are, dawn of the fifth day. We've only got two more streams left. And unfortunately, at the time of recording, we're nearing up on Thanksgiving. I've got a lot of stuff to prepare for. So I wasn't able to play over the weekend. We're still in Master 5 and Master 1 is looking more and more difficult. But who knows, maybe as we're getting near to the end of the month or whatever, all the really powerful, really strong duelists will already have made it into Master 1. Maybe we'll be able to sneak in there real quick. Right now, we're still playing the same exact deck we had last time. We still have the anti-pearly version saved, just waiting in the wings. And maybe we'll bring that one out. I'll let you know if we do, but it really depends on what the ladder is looking like today. And there's no way to find that out, but to jump on in. See if we can set it up. Ah, uh, you don't want to see the go first lightning storm, but that's fine. We've otherwise got a great hand. We can stop Max C. We can pretend like we're on a uh, Cash Tira, which most people will be like, ah, Cash Tira, I know how to beat that. Easy as pie. Fenrir says hello. Normal summon. Let's go with the bobblehead, light heart. Just like we've got light hard over here. Little, little hard leg bobblehead. I bought that as a prop, hoping I'd be able to use it a bunch during this episode, and it just hasn't really come up all that much. Okay. So we've got Triheart, we've got Twin Saw, we've got Ash, and we can special summon this Cash Tira. Feeling pretty good. We're, we're pretty nice. Also, I just realized that I'm big. Let's just shrink me down a little bit. Oh, also, I double forgot to mention that I have merch. Hey, how's it going? Before the end of the main phase? Oh no. Well, shit. I guess we just keep try hard and hope that's enough. Goodbye, world. Runix. I might be doomed here, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, we just want to stop them from getting to the field. All right, all right, that's what I like to see. Before the end of the main phase, yeah, let's go ahead and just do this now. Goodbye, Lightheart. All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's just see if they've got any floodgates. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna activate Reichheart. Now we do have three defense position monsters on the field. So we'll get that searchy search. Thank you, Nico Cross Live. And skill drain. The skill has been officially drained from this battle. Which is perfectly fine. I have the field spell. Pop, pop. Goodbye, skill drain. You may have stopped me a wee bit, but you didn't stop me enough bit. Uh, okay. So we can special summon this. 
That gives us a level three in the graveyard, so we can activate this effect with the Acrobat. Negate its effects. All right. Unfortunate. But I could do it again. I'm coming in hot. <laughs> And there they go, easy peasy, beautiful. Take that, Runic. All right, I forgot how close we were to the top. We're already just one win away. If we get one more, we can go up into Master Four. Do we has what it takes? All right, I think we can do this even through Imperm. Uh, okay. Uh, triple tack. Let's look at your hand, shall we? What are we working with? Unfortunately, no matter what we do, I think they've got combo. We're unfortunately going to give them a plus two. But I think this will probably be better to just get the Twin Saw. So they're essentially starting with their six card hand. Yeah, a lot of their extra deck cards are immune to traps. Going with the Mantis. Add one Trap Tricks from your deck to your hand. All right. Battle phase. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like these are bait. They set those before going to attack. Oh no, okay. Um. Yeah, we'll do this now. Pop. Oh no, they just set two. Duel Links player, I guess. Please get Marimillo and like destroy the- oh, thank you. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I mean, we just got full combo again. Go, Baloney! <laughs> we just gotta hope they don't have, um... What's it called? Nibiru in hand. What do they have? Drollin Lock? That would be disastrous, actually. Hey! There we go! We had to be a little tactical, you know, it was a little hit or miss there. But they said this is dumb and they left and we rank up into Master 4. Two for two for today. We're already moving up. Let's hope we can keep up this streak. All right, interesting hand. Start with Fenrir. Go, go, Fenrir. In perm, that's right of the brightest rain for me. Normal summon. Nah, I don't need it. Yeah, like it would have been nice to get scare cash, but I don't need it. All right, it is not Nibiru. In perm on the Fenrir. All right. Ah, two for one. I'll take that. All right, they've used the cross out. All right, so they get the dot scraper. Sure, I'll just do this while I'm here. So it stops asking me. Yeah, hopefully the last card is in triple tactics. And this, yeah, I know. You wait for this and then you twin saw. That way you make sure that they don't have the uh, the Sigma. It gets banished. Super fact, you only have one in grave. Do you not have the one that lets you summon one out of the graveyard? Oh, you already had it. Okay. Um, ooh, but Twin Saw goes really hard here. A level four to level one? Well, how about no more Link Monsters for the rest of the turn? How would you feel about that? 
I can't believe they gave them a card that's just like, hey, Link Monsters, come on, come over here. Oh, I got a secret for you. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, everyone, one more win, and we get up into Master 3. We are on a six game win streak. Can we make it? Lucky number seven. Can we keep the steam rolling? Will Sisyphus finally push that boulder over the hill so we can go get some delicious raising canes? Only time will tell. We got a pretty, pretty decent hand though. I mean, you know. Okay, so Fenrir, Twinsaw, Tryheart, and we got the Scarecash to Chump Block if all else fails. Show me what you got. You didn't have any hand traps, so I'm thinking probably a bunch of board breakers. If we get hit by evenly matched again, I'm gonna be sad. It's Pearly, mi amigo. I think when we, if we go first and we establish the tryhard, we've got a pretty good matchup against Pearly. Like, what are they gonna do? Pretty memory. They've already done this, so they can't like, in perm us. Maybe if they have, like, Forbidden Droplet. I think in this case, we just do our Pearly impression. They will sit on the Noir until they absolutely must activate it. And I think that's what we got to do with Twinsaw. Because most of their things are just, like, extra deck monsters, right? Like, we just wait until the end phase. Sure. Goodbye, Pearly. Okay, there's Lily. The best thing about the Nouvelles cards is that if you do that for that month, I will buy a Chef Hat. <laughs> if you want to see Chef Hat, Joe, there you go. I think it's starting to dawn on the <laughs> Target one effect monster. Negate its effects. Who are you gonna who are you gonna target? Yeah, I think they've realized that they they can't negate Tryheart. Yeah, <laughs> I think not. Oh, can it not add a copy of itself? That would have to be a spell trap. I think we go ahead and do this now, right, chat? And there you go. It's that easy. Tryheart cannot be defeated by mere dogs. And with the seven wins, we rank our way up to master three. We're speed running, baby. We're gonna get there. Did that? Did that see? Did that say what I thought it said? Is my gift box full? Too many Arby's gift cards clogging up my tickets once more. I guess I'll open a couple hundred. Sure, why not? Got anything worth it? Um, we got Tyrant's throws. That's new. I could feel myself falling asleep just thinking about legacy packs. Oh, I got another Cicada King. Oh, I guess I'll do one more. I think I could stay awake for that. All right, so we're still not doing awfully, but we almost got deranked back into Master 3, mostly off the back of fighting against Mathmech and, and Pearly. Now that we're up in High Master, those seem to be more popular. And originally the plan was to go back to what I called an anti-meta version. And it was kind of anti-meta for what I thought was good at the time, but now that we're seeing a lot more Mathemech Cyber stuff, Book of Eclipse doesn't seem like a good call. If they have a board full of links, that's not really going to do a whole lot, especially if you have to go second into it. Drollin Lock will, so we replace the Ash with Drollin Locks, and then we're still sticking on Lightning Storm, but we've removed one of them in favor of Destructive Daruma Karma Cannon. And this is just going to be something we can search going first with Triple Tactics Thrust. We had a situation last time where we got like hand trapped to hell, stopped us from building our combo, 
and the only thing we could really set, because we already had the twin saw, was our reinforcements and hope we make it till next turn. So giving us one trap that we can activate, which is going to be good against Mathmech and Pearly, is solid. And then we also took out the Scareclaw Straddle for Scareclaw Defanging. A couple different people have kept suggesting this. Continuous spell, it gives some protection to your monsters, so if you're going first and you already have Twin Saw, this effectively does the same thing that Straddle does by making it so your Link monsters can't be targeted. More importantly though, if you're going second, you can banish a Link monster from the graveyard to target a monster on the field and destroy it. Specifically a Scareclaw Link. So if we have a leftover Lightheart, we can banish it, pop a card, and the field spell's already been useful in that regard, so this is just like another copy of the field spell. So it's slightly different. The main strategy's still there, but we just got slightly different tech cards. So I'm gonna call this 4.5, and we'll head back to Master 3. All right, going second. No hand traps. Raigeki and a dream. Will it be enough? Proceed. Oh. Is this the second tier limits deck in a row? Second tier limits deck in a row. It's the strongest, what can I say? Tier limit, more like tiny beef potato chips. Excuse me? Sir! Sir, this is very rude. What are you doing, sir? Well, they were like, yeah, Tear is gambling. I'm a gambler. And here's the blackjack table. Arcana Force 21, the world. Bet it all on a coin flip, baby. All right. They did not skip my turn. They do have a lot of shit. But I might have what it takes. At the top card, I have like two traps in deck. Oh, there's Maxi. Just in time. Oh, they would have decked me out, most likely. Um, okay, so this is a lightning storm. We go for this first. As far as I know, they only have one spell trap negate, so if they stop this, we might be good. Oh, they're getting the fusion summon now. They have crime, do they? I thought they said Sullyek. Oh no, they have crime shit. Window? Oh yeah. This man really just the no fun police. Uh, we go for this. Oh, the wind off shit. Um, I guess we banish the Fenrir so we don't get banished. We can still attack. Now we can activate this without worrying. Let's just beat over the window. We don't get to OTK this time. I think they ran out of time, chat. <laughs> I think they ran out of time. Time limit win. That's what you get when you combo to infinity. I've got too many things for you to handle. Woohoo, we take those. All right, one more win and we get up into master two. We're grinding up and we win the coin toss, baby. Heart like heart believes in us. He's so far off the edge to see if I can get there we go. Give him a little tap for luck. Critter's there too, just slightly off camera. He's taking a break. He wanted a vacation. This is not a good hand for going first. Oh boy. Anytime you get Droll plus Maxi, you're not in a great way. Uh, at least we star started with a level three, so we get that. We make Lightheart. We search the field spell. And then if they have Droll, we're just like fucked, right? All right! They use the Ash on the Lightheart! That's what we like to see, baby! There we go. It's not much. It's Baguska at home. D 
discount Baguska, some might say. And sure, we'll just max save here. If they've got the other Ash, they can use it now. Spin. Well. Sometimes they open with Raigeki. And sometimes we have the arrival, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Keep on passing. See what happens. Nobody knows that you gotta get slapping. Uh, I think the max E was gonna be useless here anyway. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. I mean, if they've got like imperm, big welcome, regular welcome, then we're in trouble. Called by. All right, that kind of sucks. I won't pretend like it don't suck, because we have to summon in order to get the search. It's summon it, and if you do, then search. We do get the search with like this, but there's not a lot we can take. I guess Twin Saw is probably the best here. No, now that we've already got this, I think this might be one of the few times we want to go for defanging, because then they can't target this with anything. They just had another one! Never mind, they will negate all. That'll do it. Uh, yeah, we just gotta pass here. Oh, well, there you go. You know, sometimes you have a big dramatic fight, knock down, drag out battle. And uh, sometimes your opponent bricks on two called buys and who knows what else. I guess we'll go check their deck real quick, see what the hell they were on. What what could the hand have possibly been that would have resulted in- Oh, it's, it's Brick Tira. I see, I see. So yeah, maybe like, you know, if they had the evenly matched, that don't do anything. Big Bang don't do anything. Droplet don't do anything if all you've got is like a cross out. Could have been two Theosis, could have been Tactics, Dark Ruler, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, Triple Thrust. All of these are like bricks when all you have is just them and nothing else. So uh, yeah, there you go. You know, we get up into Master 2 and we are the closest we have ever been in this series to getting to Master 1 before we reach the final stream. We get five more wins in the next half hour. We can get there, is a chance. And if not, I mean, there's there's always next stream. All right, ladies and non-ladies, here we are. Dawn of the final stream. We have four hours to make it into Master 1, and we're currently in Master 2. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be that hard, but we'll see. I've been surprised before, but I, I'm pretty confident in our ability. We've been doing good. I'm not gonna change up in the deck. It's just me, chat, and Lighthard back here. The little prop that I got for this episode, trying to incorporate props into the episode. The Funko Pops are like fucking useless. I feel kind of bad that I even had to spend money on this. So, uh, who needs them? Yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into it, see what we do. Um... I mean, that ain't bad. As far as go first hands, these two, opening with those two were pretty dang, pretty dang nice. Although now we've got nothing to search off of this thrust. Go, go, planet! Ash Blossom. Yeah, and unfortunately, because we don't have a third card, that kind of stops us. But we can at least thrust. We've got to set a card. I guess just this. We've got Twin Saw, we've got Daruma Cannon, we've got a starter, two starters for next turn. Huh. So I guess it's like guaranteed to be Makanko, right? No. Why would they do that? Are they just assuming that we've got the Twin Saw? Yeah, honestly, I just want them to put as many monsters on the field as possible so I can use my thing. Hey, Visa, Starfrost here. Okay, I have to do this now. Yeah, otherwise they get Barone and they could stop me.
And now they get to pop any card they want. Oh, okay. I'm just going for my own field. Ah, scare cash. Ah, uh, if that's Twin Soul, I might be screwed. If it's anything else, I think I'm good. Uh, I mean, sure. Begun the top deck wars have. Oh, and they drew the other field spell. Son of a bitch. Bring back the scare cash. I think they just attack with these two. Yeah. Of course, I need to draw another name. Otherwise, I no way. No, I'm good. Yeah, they've got no way to interrupt me. Ah, oh, best draw. Go Astra. Nice top deck. Nice on. Twin saw. Twin saw. They can use it if I have a link. Son of a bitch. Um, I think we're still good. Uh, arrival. Yeah, we just go to battle. Do I do this to stop them from... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna do this anyway. That's one less monster on the field so they won't be able to pop. And then hopefully this can survive next turn and then I can rank up and reduce. Even if they happen to get like full combo. All right, all right, all right. Pop the back row, just in case. Lightning storm. Yep, may the best scare claw duelist win. That's why you do the go first version, baby. I'm talking with the man in the mirror. I'm asking him to change his ways. There we go. Roll and lock, try hard, twin saw, Daruma. I think we're pretty good unless they've got evenly matched and then a deck that doesn't lose to Droll and lock. Like Labyrinth with evenly matched would be bad for us. All right, small world. So Mathmech is a Mathmech baby, and we know from experience while this doesn't stop them, it does hurt them. By your powers combined, I'm Captain Tryhard. Ah, that's a nice search you did there. Be a shame if you couldn't search anymore. Yeah, you got it called by that. Two defense. Captain Tryhart's not a hero, but he'll drop your life points down to zero. Uh, yeah, and I think we've learned at this point that this is the best way to use this. This is the equation. They can get something back. Oh, yeah, and then we can just twin saw. No link effects for the rest of the turn. Lol. I don't think they know, chat. They lack critical information. Hello, Alan. Limited card that they just searched easily. Uh, all right. We did it, chat. Unless that's the, um, whatchamacallit. Then we might be screwed. Ooh, another one. My favorite. Oh, 
Synet conflict. Ouchie. Let's activate this. I'm tempted to just activate this. Oh, like I have to be able to change one monster face down in order to use it. Okay. Okay. Baloney. Going to Lightheart. I don't know why I did that. Uh, special summon. Uh, do I want to? I can make the three with this, and then I can get the draw to... Uh, no, we just do this. Effect Veiler. Um, am I missing something? Ah, Psynet Conflict. Well, now I'm screwed. I needed to get rid of both of those, because now they can just bring it back. I'll lose my Link too, but I have more recovery options. You magnificent bastard! That'll do it! <laughs> Alright, I've got very few Scare Claws left, and that is not one of them. Herald the Max C. It has to be face up. Max C attack! <laughs> do, I, do I pay 2,000 to Herald the Max C? I don't feel like I do. <laughs> Do it for the lulls. Yeah, fuck it. Send one earth insect to the graveyard. <laughs> Scary master duel screenshot. Now you're on the clock. I have more life points, making me the victor. If they got diameter, it's just like over that I will feel shame forever for having uh, done that. End phase! <laughs> Maxi prevails! Maxi prevails! <laughs> Droll and lock. Uh, I guess this is more damage. I do have a, an Ausa. <laughs> oh, they do have, I can take their Maxi! Oh, or I could take their transcode talker, sure. Why not? Hell yeah. Ausa says trans rights. Draw your last pathetic card. Unironically, you know, if, if they pass here and I win, heralding the insect so I could retain my own Maxi will have been the thing that won me the duel. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! Well, how often do you see that happen? Alright chat, the stream has only just begun, but we've got nothing but wins so far. Four win streak. If we can make it five, we will get into Master 1 and it will have been the easiest time we've ever had. Of course, we're going second, but also, of course, that doesn't really mean anything against this uh, with this deck. We've got Fenrir, we've got Lightning Storm, we've got Thrust. Playing against Kash Tira. Easy, easy, not hard. At least possibly Kash Tira. Yeah, I mean, Thrust is just like the easiest out to um, Arise Heart if that's what they're gonna make. Although Fenrir search Fenrir doesn't necessarily seem... Oh, are we doing a mirror match for the final one? No, it's Vanquish Soul. All right. Vanquish Soul, your nose is mine. Heavy Borger. Reveal the, the Jowlong. Summon the Jowlong. Rock of the Vanquisher. Add back Ryzen, and then if you have another fire, you can search. I 
got the fire and we know they have an ash. That's unfortunate. Dust Devil. Dr. Mad Love, draw a card. All right, stake your soul. Caesar Valius. Then the Caesar just comes back, right? I mean, they can tag it out at any point. I think they just lightning storm the back row to take care of it. Border, they're just going to draw a card while they're here. Yeah, we're not in a great way. They've got everything in defense, and they've got the ability to do pretty much everything. Continue? Alright. So let's... Lightning Storm. We'll take out all the back rows. Goodbye! Not sure what we thrust. Oh, wait, we just thrust for Raigeki, right? Oh, but they've got they've got the ash. I should have baited the ash first. Oh. Oh, they, they lack critical information. Uh, okay. Thrust for Raigeki? Howdy. Smile. <laughs> Special summon one from my hand! Yeah, Ryzen can reveal. This card cannot be destroyed by effects this turn. But that baits out one of their reactions and everything else can still do... Oh wait, they're doing the search? Oh, it searches on summon. Okay. Raigeki. Bye-bye! Okay. I mean, I'm still not out of this yet, because they still have the Ash, and they can still summon the, um, the Caesar Valius and pop a card. Although, this may hurt their ability to do that. Yo, what up? You wanna tag out? You may have some trouble if you try to tag out. I may make some trouble in your bubble. Alright, alright. Ash goes there. No, we don't want to do this now, because then we'll just tag out. Uh, yeah, we go for this. We go for the right cart. A uh, right cart, and we grab the extension. That way we can play even if they pop something. Yeah, there's the Caesar Valius, so they tag out. Just gets me the arrival so I can bring it back. And that triggers the Fenrir. So you've got to blow something up now. And you only get to keep this if you tag it out for um, Borger. That let build on Vanquish Soul really help me understand the deck. Pop or the Invulnerability. They're going for the Invulnerability. All right, all right. Um, let's go ahead and make this. Activate it. Feels like they have something else they can do. I'm not sure what. Special summon. Oh yeah, they can just tag out. Okay. I'm not sure if I can OTK through this is the problem. Not affected by activated effects. But what if I didn't activate any... Okay, so we're gonna have to do this the long way, but I think we could do it. Oh wait, no, this is just game, right? We've got two attacks. Three attacks with piercing. Yeah, and I believe that's enough. They have to tag out here, but whatever they tag out is gonna be in defense and have less defense than this. Unless they've got an Abiru. And they don't have the Nibiru! 
3,000 piercer, attack three times. We may have used a whole bunch of tech cards, but in the end, it was the scare claws that did it. And they got us to master one faster and easier than any deck on this series so far. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Can you get to master one with Scareclaw? Easily. Best deck. 10 out of 10. Light heart out of infinity. We did it. And with that, ladies and non-ladies, we reached the conclusion of this episode. And, you know, we did it. We reached Master 1, faster than any other deck I've played on this series, and with the highest win rate, too. I, I, I'm honestly kind of surprised. Like, I didn't think Scareclaw was bad or anything, but I did not expect it to be this powerful. And if I had to pin its success on any one thing, it's probably the trap, Scareclaw Twinsaw. I think a lot of people overlook this thing because the first half just reads like Icarus Attack or Sword Soul Blackout. And don't get me wrong, it is like those cards and destroying two is nice, but the real strength comes from its graveyard effect. The latter half of the card, which is essentially just skill drain for Link monsters. Like a lot of duelists assume that Scareclaw is weak to Links and weak going first, and this thing solves that problem so thoroughly that we were able to easily dominate all the Cyburst Math Mech decks that we got put up against in the latter half of the season. At least, assuming we went first. I'm sure luck played a part in this victory as well, and, well, I've had some Scareclaw pilots tell me I'm pretty good at the deck, so it's possible that my skill was a factor also. But I feel like most of the success came down to a meta shift which favored Scareclaw in a way that most duelists were unprepared for. But hey, that's just a theory. Uh, anyway, it's the end of the month and the end of the episode, which means it's time to look over our statistics for November 2023. I ended up playing 117 duels with Scareclaw and made it into Master 1. We won 78 of those duels and lost 39, which gives this deck an overall win rate around 67%. We went through just four and a half builds during our time before ending on this list behind me, which contains 14 common cards, 12 super rare cards, and 29 ultra rares. I spent 13,000 gems on this month's deck, which would cost around $177 if you bought them all at the store at the standard price. Finally, all of this would not have been possible without 398 awesome patrons who helped support the channel this month. 34 of those patrons donated $25 or more, so I'd like to take a moment to thank them personally. Their names are Davon Crushin, Cat Monarch, Dude Blade X, Frankly, I'm a person. Shadow1317, Uber Super Sloth, Austin Glover, Chris W, Ya Boy Slurp, Barbarians or Us, Boomer Noob underscore, Clockswork, Dallas Visaji, Default Titan97, Dancing Joker, Elance, Emperor Lelouch, Inge Magnus, Jeff M, JJ Squirtle, Kesos the Black Talon, Koro, MBT Yu-Gi-Oh, Muntry, Nathan, Naw Dog the Razor, Quintingent, RNA, not DNA, Sanguine Strawberry, Spooky, Taylor, Tengen Toppin Bob Ross, Tristan Marlowe, and Viscount Billy Esquire. If you'd like to join them, there's a Patreon link down in the description. Just $1 gets you on the Discord, $25 gets your name in the credits, and for $10, you can get a special rule that allows you to vote on what deck I play next. Speaking of which, next time on Ladder Climb, we're going to be having a holiday feast for all as I break out the Nouvelles for December. If you want to see me attempt this in real time, you can follow me over at twitch.tv slash hardleggaming, where I stream most of my duels. Otherwise, until next time, good luck, and have fun. A Yu-Gi-Oh! Theory.